Alrighty, so in the last video we kind of got it set up. We do have some problems, but you can see down there we're printing out for position 0 for the socket, position 3, and we're able to go to position 1 as well. However, we are having some problems still with getting these socket positions. However, it's not actually getting the socket position that's a problem, it's the other part. It's getting the actual index, which for whatever reason doesn't want to return the proper value. So I guess we just got to kind of iterate through and see what's going on there, but we will handle that probably in a f like one of the next upcoming videos. So what we want to do now is we get the hit socket transform. From here, we want to do a test and see if this is actually valid. So let's go ahead and store the transform first. So F transform. Let's do socket transform and assign it. Here we want to do a test. So socket transform dot is there an equals? Yes, there is. So we want to do that as a test. So if socket transform dot equals F transform. So basically if it equals an empty transform, we know there is a problem and we really don't want it to snap. So we don't want it to do anything. So we're just going to kind of skip right over it. So I'm going to make it so if it does not equal anything, then we want to do our extra logic. And then down here, after we do our check to see if we even hit the building, what I want to do is, well, actually I don't want to do anything just yet. So once we're in here, we want to move it to the transform, basically. That's all it is. So we want to do set actor transform to equal the socket transform, just like that. And then... Pretty much from here, we can return. So I don't see us needing to do anything farther than that. So let's go ahead and do our live coding and just give it a try. So I press B, then press F, and I'm going to go to the wall. And it says we're on position zero, and I know what the problem is. We are hiding it, but we are not unhiding it because we're hitting that. So we want to make sure if there's a blocking hit, let's actually do this up here. But instead of setting the actor location right there, instead want to do an else, place it in there, and same thing, else, place it there. I'm obviously not looking too much into the logic of this because I could probably simplify this, but for the time being, that's the case. So if there's a blocking hit, we unhide the object. We want to hide our building mesh. Then if it hits the, uh, the actual building actor that we want to spawn everything on, we go through, we get our socket. If the socket's valid, we set it to the socket location. Or, sorry, transform. Otherwise, if it does not hit a valid socket, we just free, we just go to wherever the hit result lands us. So kind of how it was before. Okay, so go build. Let's place it. Go to the wall. And as you can see, it is now snapping. So it snaps to the correct position, position 3, position 0. Here's where we're having that, those issues, and right there we're at position 1. So we are able to get, I can never get, I think this is position 2. Not entirely sure though. I can never get this. This does not want to work. So I have a hunch I know why. I just got to kind of figure it out. But as you can see, it is snapping between it and still going free as needed. So we have the basics for snapping going. And now we can just kind of continue. So I'm going to dig in and see if I can figure out what's causing that problem. I'm not entirely sure what might be the issue, but eh, hopefully I'll have it figured out by the next video. If not, we'll just continue on. So anyways, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all my videos early. If you have any questions or anything like that, Feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. And I screwed that outro up.